Hi, in this video, I want to look at the question why you or others should do competition math. Um, many people uh, hear about it and they think, oh, that's not for me, but they're perhaps missing out on the benefit of it. The benefit in primary is that, in general, school math is kind of boring. Uh, it's mostly replication of processes. The teacher will lecture you on a certain process you do or a mechanical operation that generates some output. And then you will get a problem set of 30 problems where you will try to repeat that process so that you can grasp it fully. And that's great. There's an important usage for all of those things and it's, it's necessary, but it's not exactly enjoyable. Uh, the thing about competition math is they're carefully created questions that uh, are designed for uh, creative problem solvers. It's something like the joy you might get from playing the game 2048 or solving a Rubik's Cube or doing Sudoku. It's like a little puzzle. And your goal then, they've made it for you to enjoy solving that puzzle. Uh, school math doesn't really have that feature. Uh, you can think of it in a way that school math is how to write your letters. Maybe you learn how to write, you know, A, B, C, D, and so on, all the way through Z, and that's what you learn in school. What competition math does is it says, how many words can you create? If I give you mm, 10 of these letters, how many words could you make? Or can you write a paragraph? It's what can you do with the tools that you've been taught how to use? What can you build? And so in that sense, it's trying to measure or find the students with the most creativity, the most ability to innovate, uh, to solve more difficult problems. Now, why is that something you would want? Well, there's many reasons. One of them is when you enter the workforce, uh, people who can solve other people's problems, uh, they tend to do more things and get higher uh, responsibility, which comes with more commensurate pay and uh, they're asked to solve more of a company's problems in general. Or maybe you start your own company. So in that sense, that's the main purpose of competition math. Actually, more precisely, the main purpose is the following. It's fun. It should be fun. It's not something to worry about if you cannot or can answer it. Uh, just enjoy the journey. Uh, the primary reason to start competition math is this. Don't worry about measuring yourself against other people or if you win the prize or come in first place in your school. Just do it for the enjoyment of the process. Uh, you can also improve yourself, your general logical thinking skills, your creativity, creative problem solving, right? So that's the number one reason. Uh, where can you go? What competitions are there? There's many competitions. There's an international one that's pretty well known called Math Kangaroo. Um, it's moderately enjoyable. Uh, the premier one in the United States is the American Mathematics Competition. It was formerly called the American High School Mathematics Examination. In 1999, it changed to AMC and there was two levels, 10 and 12. Under the old test, all freshmen through seniors competed on the same test. In these, this is for 10th grade and below, and this is for 12th grade and below. There are other competitions in America that are quite fun. Uh, math Counts is a good one. There's probably local competitions. Uh, there's many that uh, are take-home tests. There's all kinds of them that are out there. My personal favorite is the ones made uh, by MAA, which is the Math Association of America. So the AMC 10 and AMC 12, where do they go to and why should we take those tests? Uh, in addition, by the way, there's also the AMC 8. It's for eighth grade and below. It's more of just for fun though. Um, it's a, a good way to learn the basic concepts of competition math, specifically uh, the ones that will appear on the AMC and the level of thinking required to get to uh, be successful on these two competitions. But it doesn't lead to anything else. And what I mean is both of these tests, if you score high enough, will lead to another level. And that's the second reason you should try to take it. Um, it's to try to win awards or qualify for the next round, which is called the AI. 
AME, the American Invitational Mathematics Examination. The AIME is open to all qualifiers. These are not the only ways to get to the AIME. There's a few others. I'm unclear on all the avenues you can take to be invited to take this test. Um, but one of the ways is to score well enough on these two. So on the AMC 10, it used to be uh, that you could score the top 2.5% or a 120 or above. So how does scoring work? Uh, on the test, there's 25 questions. You have 75 minutes. An average of three minutes per question is given. Uh, each right answer you get is six points. Each skip that you have is 1.5 points, and you get zero points if you're wrong. Um, why do they do this? They want to discourage guessing. Uh, they don't want you to get points for guessing. And it, it works out, but uh, you get more points if you skip it. So if you don't know, in general, you should probably skip it. So this is no longer a cutoff that's allowed anymore. Uh, in fact, they don't even write the top 2.5% on the test anymore. They just say those who score well. It's still approximately the top 2.5%. For the AMC 12, you can be in approximately the top 5%. Now, once you get to the AIME, uh, this is a multiple choice test. The AIME is not a multiple choice test. Uh, it's, the answers range from 0 to 999. There are 15 questions, and you have three hours to do those questions, um, approximately 12 minutes per question, so a little bit more difficult. So uh, we'll talk about what comes after the Amy in a moment. Um, other reasons to take it. Uh, it basically makes your school math a joke. If you get to be an AMI qualified or capable of AMI qualifying individual, uh, those students tend to get you know, A's in their math classes without too much difficulty and most likely without a tutor. So uh, being somebody who is AMI capable uh, comes with uh, rewards for yourself. It will save time in school math. You'll be a faster problem solver. You'll do better on your tests. There's also college preparatory exams like the SAT or the ACT. Typically, a student who's able to get AMI qualified, it's just about virtually guaranteed they're going to get an 800 on the SAT for the math portion, and they're most likely to get it for the subject test level two for math as well. So those are also some benefits that come with becoming a good creative problem solver. Um, after the AMI, what takes place next is they combine your score from the AMI and the AMC 10, and if it's high enough, you are invited to take the USA JMO, uh, that's the Junior Math Olympiad. Um, it's approximately 300 or less students that take this competition. If you took the AMC 12, which is available to freshmen and sophomores as well, then you are able to, you must actually take, if you qualify with the AMI, the USA MO. Um, the USA JMO is only for 10th grade and below. Uh, this is for 12th grade and below. These two tests are both uh, six question, uh, three out, no, you get how many hours? Uh, nine hours to do all six questions. And you take it over two days, 4.5 hours a day, uh, three questions each day. They're all proofs. And beyond that, there's about 300 for the USAMO or less. Maybe it's 250 to 300. Um, the students who score well on these competitions are then invited to MOP, the Math Olympiad program, which takes place in the summer. From that MOP, they select a six-person team that will represent the United States at the International Math Olympiad. And this competition is what it sounds like. It's an international competition uh, held every year. All of the countries in the world, or the majority of them, uh, compete in it. And it, before recent times, the last time the United States came in first was 1994. Uh, but more recently, uh, they have come in first place four of the last five years. In 2019, they tied with China for first place. So the USA has really improved. 
uh, under the new leadership uh, who took over in 2014. Um, so why then you start this competition? It leads to future competitions. Most people are not going to make it onto the six-person IMO team. So if I'm not going to make it there, does that mean it's not worth taking? No, absolutely you should take it for all the benefits previously described, the enjoyment, uh, getting better at creative problem solving, which is a life skill. It will help you no matter where you go and what you're doing or what company you work for, maybe even your own. Um, so what, where should you aim for? That is going to be an internal question that you're going to have to answer for yourself. Uh, for many people, qualifying for Amy is a significant accomplishment. Um, why? The people who are taking the AMCs are typically strong math students. They're getting, most of them are straight A students or at least A's in their math class. You're not facing students who are getting a C in their Algebra 1 course or Algebra 2. These are all smart students. And amongst the smartest students in the country, you're in the top 2.5 to 5% of those students, then this really puts you probably top 0.1% of math students in the country. That's a really big accomplishment. Uh, it looks good on college apps. Uh, obviously, if you can get to farther in the competition, the better it looks. I'd like to assume that if you are an IMO participant and you're on the team that competes internationally, you can probably pick your college in the country and you're most likely getting a full ride scholarship there. Um, for the rest of us, let's just get as far as we can, but more importantly, enjoy the process along the way.